State lawmaker wants to make it easier for teachers to have control in the classroom. Their bill would require teachers to take disciplinary action if a student causes a disruption. Capital correspondent Chris Rosado has this story for us tonight. Currently, teachers are legally allowed to remove students from the classroom if they're being a disturbance. But out of fear of losing their job these days, many teachers say they are reluctant to take action. House Bill 322 by Republican Representative Joseph Stagney would now require those teachers to take action if the student is being disruptive. Those children returning back to the classroom uh, over and over again, and so it's disrupting uh, teaching time and it's disrupting students who are good students who want to learn. Stagney was actually approached by the East Baton Rouge Federation of Teachers to draft the bill. The bill also goes a step further and would prevent a school principal or administrator from firing a teacher who needs to remove a student even if things get physical. Yeah, and I think, you know, in that situation, you know, there may be other people called in to remove the student. But the most egregious example that I've heard is a teacher who was assaulted by a student and looking at their discipline record, they had 10 to 11 reports on that student prior to the assault. And today, the student's back in the classroom and the teacher's still out with injury. If if there's no discipline in the classroom, no learning will take place. President of the Louisiana Retired Teachers Association, Lizette Watterson, says she's only on board with physically removing a student under one condition. As long as it's been, as it's been investigated and made sure that, you know, that was the last recourse. But the part she's really behind is where it says teachers would be required to hold a parent-teacher conference if a student is removed from the classroom for a third time. I'm a big fan of that, number one, because that, that was one of the rules I did. If a child has been a problem for three times, a lot of times that child may have been a problem, but the parents may not know. One question I had for Representative Stagney was what the bill would do to ensure a parent actually shows up for a parent-teacher conference and how it would address parents who either don't care or are not in the picture at all. Well, I haven't explored that yet, but I, I can tell you that we will. This is going to go through a, a, a long, arduous process, through the legislative process, and we are going to get input from all the stakeholders. Chris Rosado, WAFB 9 News. The regular session begins March 11th. We have some new details.